Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception, December 8. The Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary is celebrated on December 8. The Immaculate Conception of the Most Blessed Virgin Mary is one of the four Marian dogmas of the Catholic Church. A dogma of the Catholic Church is defined as a truth revealed by God, which the magisterium of the Church declared as binding. Dogmas are lights along the path of faith. They illumine it and make it secure. The dogma of the Immaculate Conception states that the Most Blessed Virgin Mary, from the first moment of her conception, by a singular grace and privilege from Almighty God, and in view of the merits of Jesus Christ, was kept free of every stain of original sin. In 1854, Pope Pius IX's solemn declaration, and if a bill is days, clarified with finality the long-held belief of the Church that Mary was conceived free from original sin. Four years later, the same Virgin Mary, appearing in Lourdes to St. Bernadette, confirmed the truth of the doctrine by presenting herself with the title, I am the Immaculate Conception. An implicit reference about Immaculate Conception may be found in the angel's greeting to Mary. The angel Gabriel said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Luke chapter 1 verse 28 The phrase full of grace is a translation of the Greek word keteritomeni, it therefore expresses a characteristic quality of Mary. The grace Mary enjoyed was not a result of the angel's visit. She was in a state of sanctifying grace from the first moment of her existence. According to Catholic culture, the purity of our origins seemed to be irredeemably lost. But in Immaculate Mary, God found the perfect solution to reverse the disaster made from the misuse of our liberty and return humanity to the original purity that seemed hopelessly lost. Like all other descendants of Adam, she was subject to the necessity of contracting original sin. But by a special intervention of God, she was preserved from the stain of original sin and its consequences. She was therefore redeemed by the grace of Christ, but in a special way, by anticipation. According to the Catechism, to become the mother of the Savior, Mary was enriched by God with gifts appropriate to such a role. The Catechism teaches that the splendor of an entirely unique holiness by which Mary is enriched from the first instant of her conception comes wholly from Christ. 
she is redeemed in a more exalted fashion by reason of the merits of her son. The Father blessed Mary more than any other created person in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places and chose her in Christ before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless before Him in love. This great gift to Mary was fitting to her because she was destined to be Mother of God. The purity and holiness of the Blessed Virgin Mary is a model for all Christians. Mary's life is permanently and intimately related to God, and thus she is the All-Holy.